what's happening? It's your man Qualified. We out here live, factory. I got my man Cedric. What's good? What up? What up? You already know what's show. going on. Hey. Yeah. All right, man. So, uh, shit, man. Let us know what's going on with you, man. Uh, if the people who don't know you, if they haven't seen you before, let them know a little bit about your background, where you coming from, uh, how you start spitting this fire, all that good word, shit. Word, word, word. Yeah, yeah man. Born and raised on Oahu, represent, grew up here on the South Shore, you know, like fell in love with hip hop at a super young age, elementary school, you know, that's when I started just diving into it, yeah. then high school time, you know, I started freestyling and one of the homies had a little studio, yeah. which was really a piece of carpet in the corner of a room <laughs> with a microphone behind it, and we were just stoked to hear ourselves being recorded, yeah, you know? yeah. so that was like the early days of it. Back then, we were just like recording freestyles, like right. we weren't really writing a lot, but that's when I did start writing, and then, you know, do a couple songs here and there, and kind of had... Yeah, and then you have falling out sometimes with people you're hanging out yeah. with, so shit happens. And then um, I just felt like, you know, called, I kept feeling called to just jump back into the music. And it came to a point where I'm like, I get to stop playing hokey pokey, you know, yeah. and just go just, all in and with just it. Just jump in. So, so about 2015, I kind of started taking it a little more seriously, working on the first project. Um, the little three-piece EP called West Side Story, uh, okay. and then after that, um, I started working on Architecture, which I dropped in uh, October of 2017. So my baby just made one year old a yeah. couple little while ago, a couple uh, weeks back. So uh, yeah. yeah, man, you know, just progressively trying to get better with my craft, and also know that there's like a hustle necessary. Yeah besides the talent to get yourself to wherever you want to go, no matter if you want to try to do global tours, if you're just trying to rock it out, right. you know, locally. Yeah. So I'm trying to take it as far as I can, to be honest, you know. Um, I want to travel with music, yeah, you know, totally. take it as far as I can. So just slowly but surely, just taking the necessary steps that I know that I need to take, you know, sharpening my craft. We just started a weekly at okay. Bounce Back Mondays at yeah, the Dragon Upstairs. Dragon upstairs. Okay. So every Monday we're going to be at the Dragon Upstairs in Chinatown. We got Put four, that on four artists. Somewhere. Yeah, we got Puna Hele, we got my man Pac, we got yours truly. Yeah. We got Ginger Fresh and the Remedies, you know, and we're just trying to build something consistently. Kind of like Jim Hurdle, Connor, yeah, yeah, and Moshine. Shine, yeah. shout out, you know, hey, like we all trying to we just right now. provide like platforms for local artists to get their shine on, you know. I feel you, I feel you, man. That's what's up, man. So, um, yeah, I see you trying to trying to give back to the community. Another thing that I've seen you doing, uh, the Freestyle Fridays, I've yeah. come through yeah. a few times myself, yeah, man. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, tell us a little bit about that. Plug it so we can put all that shit on the screen. Shout too. out to Freestyle Friday. Yeah. Yeah, that's spelled with three eyes because uh, we got the vision. Open it you up. Know, you know, so yeah, man, it's just something that actually a mentor of mine suggested that I create something consistent. Yeah. Which is kind of like what we're trying to do with Bounce Back, you know. So every Friday, you know, it's going to be on Facebook, right. yeah. Instagram Live. You know, we just playing beats and we freestyle and improvising on the spot. Yeah. Sometimes we have special guests come through and rock, you know, whether it's producers or MCs. Yeah. I'm really open with the format. It's not set in stone. Um, you know, we just kind of go with the flow. And so if anyone would like to be a guest, I'm always, you know, open to having new cats come through. Kick some freestyles if you're a producer and you want to come yeah. through and play beats, you know, then we'd be, we'd be honored to have you come through. So, Freestyle Friday, 8.30 p.m. Yeah, Hawaiian time. it's going down. Every Friday, so tune in. Don't yep. miss, rain or shine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, it's Cedric man. Clinton on Instagram, Twitter, oh, IG, all, of all that. that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, a couple more things before we wrap it up, man. Um, if you could define your rap style as an animal bird, what would it be? I'm gonna have to go with the lion off top, yeah. bro. King of the jungle. I feel you know? it, I feel Straight it. Up. Okay, Straight word. up. Okay, yeah, word, I like that, yeah. I like channeling that. Channeling that Bob Marley, you know, channeling that Nas, like that boom bap is where my heart's at, you know, yeah. I'm a golden arrow type of cat. 
I fuck with some of the new shit as well, you know, like I like the electronic elements as well. Yeah. Some of the trap stuff too, so. Okay. Yeah, right, man. Switch it up. Yeah, we're gonna add some seasoning to the pot a yeah. little bit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, word. I mean, see me, I don't know. I just started this off top. Uh, I would just compare my style to like a blue whale because like blue whales are like you, you think they like mad chill and shit but then you get up oh, on man. one the motherfuckers is huge Straight and they up. will like crush your shit just by doing what they do yeah. and that's what I do Straight you did up. <laughs> and you, you did. ain't never lie you, you did. ain't never lie oh uh, man so uh, yeah. one, one thing you wanna shout out some of the homies some of the crew oh or? for sure for Here sure Shout out to Puna Hele. Yes. Shout out to the Super Groupers. Yes. Scott Otoro, Naveed. Shout out to Illicit. These are all people we got to get on the show. Workhouse, you know, is in this piece. Yeah. Shout out to Factory 808. Yeah. Obviously, big yeah. up. I appreciate the love. I see you For guys sure, out here man. doing your thing, you know, yeah, spreading yeah. the culture and the good vibes. Definitely yes, appreciate it. We need Thank more you, of that. Bro. So let the snowball just keep growing and growing and growing. Keep rolling. Yeah. You know. Big up, big up. Hey, so y'all already know what it is, man. We wrapping it up. It's factory. It's your man Qualify. We got Cedric Clinton in the building. Salute. Y'all already know what it is, yeah. man. We have a yeah. Kind of vibranium. This is that 73 carat vibranium. Okay. What's happening, man? It's your man Qualify. We out here live with Factory. I got my man Coins in the building repping that fo -fo. Fo -fo. What's up, Factory? Know what it is, man. We what up? Day one. In the background, you see him, you see him, y'all know what it is. It's the pusher, man. And we need any goods yeah, while you're in Kanye like Kalu. And we ain't snitching, just hit him up. You know what I mean? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> but we out here, man. Y'all know bro? what it is, man. Good to see you, bro. It's uh, It's been a minute, man. We've been trying to get you on here. Yes, I was actually just thinking about that the other day. I was like, damn. Yeah, we well, get way too high. Hey, that's <laughs> facts. But you know what, man? We decided to just pull up while we get high all right, all right. and make it happen. You know what I mean? You feel that? So, um, man, not too long ago, you uh, you dropped my bad. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You hitting us with with all of that with new music and new everything. New music, yes, sir. Some um, new, something new, something different. Yeah, man, hitting us with the visuals. The yes, vi sir. Yo, the visual game has gotten crazy since uh, since you dropped that uh, that whole like visual album shit. Like since you just been like leveling up, man. Yes, sir. So yeah, tell I'm us, just trying to get better than myself. That. You know, that's my yeah. only opponent. It's just myself. So. And everybody else, but <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Right. Nah, but no. Mainly I just, just I just try to up myself. I just want and I just try to create stuff that I really nah, I really want, you know. Um I everybody I work with, like from Cameron to Josh to to you guys, to anybody is like yeah. it's all it's all coincidence, but at the same time it's chosen. Like it's like I thought about it, you yeah. know, I wanna work with who I wanna work with and stuff like that. So I feel you. Oh uh, man, so uh like what's the What's the next stuff that you're working on? Like, what is, what should we be looking for next from you? Um, more music videos. Um, yeah. more music, more dope music. I yeah. feel like I'm in a pace. I'm at a pace now, or I'm at a space actually where I'm confident with my product. Yeah. You know, like a lot of experimentation. Hey, what's happening? Oh, bet that, bet that. Uh, yeah, we'll edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> That's how. Okay. The, the pool up, man. They're trying to pull up on Quali, trying to ask him questions. Where you gonna be at later? I mean, yeah. I know what it is, man. Nah, but yeah, so I got I got a lot of new music actually. Stuff with Day, everything. I just been working with Jim Hurdle. Yeah. Um, some of the homies like Daju, um, okay. Hush. Yeah. Um, this homie Eugene Cam. He's the one that made a lot of beats on okay, My Bad and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The guy that made Bouquet and stuff yeah. like that. So nah, nah. I just working with people that that fuck with me that, and they. Every time they, they tell me, oh, that's dope, that's not dope. So they're honest and shit like Word. that, so. Okay. New uh, shit though, I'm trying to get more shows. I'm trying to be more out there. I realized yeah. like I was super dormant. Yeah, I was being too like dormant, you know, yeah. Bit. Like, for a good reason, yeah. but now I'm in a good space where I'm I like, I thought yeah, you I was, I thought, yeah, I felt like it was like strategic the way you had kind of like pulled back. Like, cause you had been out here, you had been hitting hard for, for a minute, long time. And then like, you, you know, you hit us with some music and and you just kind of like fell back, so I was like, all right, bet. Like yeah. I just, I, I was like, all right, he's gonna emerge eventually. It's gonna be some crazy yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just like, I just don't want to forget about real life and shit, you know. 
like real life responsibilities yeah, and, and my own self, my own health, mental health, physical health. So Facts. that's why I just been kicking it back where I grew up and just soaking that in and just remembering how real that is and, and like everything else besides that is just too gazy, you know. Like and the love, keep the love for the music. Yeah. You no, know, don't lose that. So it's like. And now I have that, and I feel like I'm just with my boys, you know. And I yeah. can kick it with you guys, yeah. like, like you guys are my boys. But I don't need a, I don't need to be with you guys all the time. Yeah, right, I can right. be with my people. Exactly. And I can come out and still, you guys are my people. Yeah. So it's like it's nothing. Yeah, That's yeah. where I need like to no be. Like no time passed. No time passed. Yeah, yeah. It, we all have lives to live. Exactly. You know? so, we, got, we got things to do. Yeah. Yeah, man. Now I, I felt that on uh, when I had to make my little uh, hiatus when my when my son was first born. Yeah, one. yeah. I just kind of dipped out for almost like two years. Yeah. I wasn't really out here doing anything. And before that, I was out here like four or five times a week. Yeah, yeah. Doing shows, real. you know what I mean? Just out here in the streets, and like you you kind of have to reprioritize and yeah. just figure out what's important in yeah. life and make sure that you take care of like. I had a family to take care of. That's yeah, like a yeah. living, breathing thing. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So I had to, like, I got to split time. I got to I gotta do what I got to do yeah, to make yeah. sure that... It's your Kuleana, you know? Like, Yo, yeah. exactly, bro. For yeah. real, for real. So, I mean, I totally, I respect that. Especially getting older, you know? Like, you, you just had a bar inside. You're like, I feel like a young gun, but I'm an OG or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, or something yeah, along yeah. those lines. Like, I'm st I feel like I'm still super young, but yeah. I'm older now. So yeah. being older and wiser is just like... I can't be out here wilding just for no reason. Facts. You know, I got a while for a reason. You yeah. Know, so. and, I, and then, one, like, even speaking to the OG thing with y'all, like, I feel like, uh, like, we was talking on Shop Talk about, like, just cats who put in work out here in Hawaii. And I kind of mentioned, like, that that uh, that generation where Ill Hill came up. Yeah. And you guys were, like, right there with us. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, boom, next thing I know, like, we're well, all. We were inspired shows. by you guys, you, you know? know? Like, yeah. Yeah, your yeah. guys' work ethic, your guys' sound, your guys' vibe, like, inspired us. So, like, yeah. we got to keep up with it. You guys oh, you guys set bars, you know, so everybody did, though. Yeah. Like, the whole scene, from yeah. the freestyle scenes to the tropic scene. Because like, we was always out here, man. Everybody pushed each other. Sharpening yeah. each other, bro. I mean, that kind of, I, I feel like that kind of like, dissipated. <laughs> And yeah. that's why I had to fall back. I it was you. like I was out, I was out wilding for a reason, yeah. low key, because it was like I have to be out. I gotta be with my homies. I gotta yeah. be with, I gotta be with the cat cipher, and I yeah. gotta be meeting people. And then it, that kind of got weird. Yeah, it kind of not weird, it just changed. And I wasn't, I was like, oh, I, would, it was unfamiliar. Yeah, you know? no, I feel so, you. It was almost like a different vibe. Like when I came really? back, it was like. Yeah. Boom. I had to, you know what I mean, adjust. <laughs> I had to find my people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. In the best way possible, everything is about change. So. Yeah. But. Yeah, no, I feel you. Nah. But um, one more thing, like, uh, so we was talking about like how you know y'all came up around the same time with us. We was all out here pushing at the same time. Um, could we expect like any like new broke mokes? Oh yes. Material? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. We got some stuff in there <laughs> right now. Right? We're actually we're always cooking. It's just a matter of of like the stars aligning without forcing it. Cause like, I feel you. Dave's my brother. Yeah. Like, and Izzy's my brother. Like, yeah. we know each other's grandparents and moms That's and family. you know family. So it's like, I can't push music on. We can't push music on each other. Right. Like, let, let's make broke mokes happen. It's like, Izzy's always cooking. That's right. right. Dave's always cooking. I'm always cooking. But it just maybe it's not all three of us. Yeah. It just but happens it's, when it, it just happens. happens when it happens. I feel you. And that's kind of how Broke Moments always was. Yeah. But we was younger and we was always with each other. Yeah, yeah. So it happened more. Right. But we never actually forced it. That's why some of our projects never fucking happened. Yeah. Like, remember, we, were, we always used to be like, oh, Mokes take part two. Yeah. I don't know when we had no facial hair <laughs> or shit. That never happened because we was just, it just never happened. Oh, so man. that's, you know, that's crazy because yeah. that's the same way for a, a lot of stuff with Ill Hill. Man. Yeah. Like, we was just, we were just homies, you know yeah. what I mean? We would just make shit. Yeah. And that's why you can be tight, though. Yeah. That's why it's like, it's not a big deal. And you have your own thing. Yeah. Koji, you know, everybody has their shit. own yeah. thing, you know, like, and that's perfect. Uh, Especially for, for the for the mind state, the state of mind, you know, like yeah. it's good for our mental health. And shit. I feel you, bro. That's how you keep longevity. I mean, you do a solo thing and then the group thing yeah. inside of it too. So yeah. you stay just in the group. Yeah. It's like go crazy. No, you gotta I break, feel it, man. Break to be a thing. That was one thing that I would always say to yeah. to them, like you know, we can break out, do our own things, and then when Still we come back, it's yeah. like Voltron. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
but um, yeah, exactly. Like Voltron and it's crazy. When you guys are fucking cool, just true to each other, like it's like no time passed. Exactly. It's not like damn these guys. They lost it. Yeah. Or like they just don't got. It's not the same. Like yeah. it's not might not be the same, but right. we're you still gonna be up. show love. Yeah, you see yeah. the love. You see the passion. So and like I only I'm only good at like making music. I feel it. I'm not even that good, but I only I only good at that. That's what I know how to do. Yeah, I feel like, you, bro. Like, I'll be on that same. I shit. wanted to skate. <laughs> couldn't do it. You know I, mean? I wanted to sponge back in high school. Yeah. Uh uh. You know, like I'm scared. So it's I just mean, like. I was trying to be in the NBA. I'm 5'7. <laughs> hey. I was trying to be in the WWE <laughs> shit. I'm 5'7. <five>, <laughs> <laughs> you ever know a midget? Yeah, I mean, exactly, bro. So yeah, I mean, it's the only thing I like to do. So that's why I continue to do it and shit. And I love. I, I've become so open minded with music nowadays. It's yeah. like. I don't feel left behind or I don't feel outdated. It's just yeah. like, I'm my, I'm my own person. Yeah, sometime it'll click. Yeah, sometime it'll click. It'll click as long as I stay true to myself. It'll, yeah. it'll open up, yeah. you know? Well, whatever it may be, whatever the successes may be, it'll happen. I feel you. Um, one more thing, just trying to wrap it up. If you could leave one thing with the people, man, like what would you want like your, your message, your legacy to be to the people? It's not set in stone what you do today, so don't worry about who you are tomorrow, and just be true to yourself, you know? Like, that's all Coins wants to be. That's why I try to tell myself, you know, like, we fuck up every day, but you can be better tomorrow, so don't even worry about it. Say wise words from a wise man. It's your man, Quali. It's Coins, Fofo, day one in the building. Shout out to the backwood, and we out. Hey, 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 hey. Krispy Kreme, 1 and 12. All right, P. Mac. Facts. Most dope.